Okay, we're up to tip number 20, and this really isn't a tip. It's really just information for you. Um, and I've got a notebook here because I can't possibly memorize all of the side effects or symptoms that you would have if you developed a toxic lead level. So that's what we're going to discuss today. Now you can do your own research. You can interview people that have experienced this and find out from them because everybody's different. Everybody's body responds to lead differently. But I'm just going to read you a list from the research that I've done uh, of symptoms that you might experience with a high lead level. Okay. Now, these are all with a lead level as low as 2 micrograms per deciliter, so that's a very low level. And mine was 16, uh, and there's a lot of people out there with it really, really a lot higher than 16. 16 was enough to cause a lot of symptoms in someone my size. Um, I know some kind of big men that have levels way higher than mine, and they have just a few symptoms, but not... Not as bad, it kind of depends on your body, how you're going to respond to it. Um, but any lead in your body is bad. You're not meant to have heavy metals in your body. So here we go. Okay, hypertension, kidney failure, peripheral neuropathy, which means numbness, tingling in the fingers and the toes. I had that. Um, peripheral vascular disease, heart attack, hearing loss, cataracts, more prone to frostbite, depression, ADHD, bipolar disorder, anxiety and panic. Some people with a high lead level become angry and hostile. Um, very low lead levels can increase your cardiovascular disease chances by 55 percent and they increase the chances of you developing a heart attack by 89 percent. They increase the likelihood of you having a stroke by 151 percent. Now these are all at a lead level of 2 micrograms. Okay. Um, uh, says here that lead could be a stronger risk factor than high cholesterol in terms of cardiovascular disease. That's a pretty big deal. Toxic lead levels that are much higher can cause your IQ to be lower, cause you to be violent. I think I mentioned that a minute ago. It can impair your impulse control, cause serious uh, hearing impairment, and even cancer. So lead's a pretty big deal even in an adult. And uh, I mentioned earlier that there's a lot more things that can happen to a young child. So it's definitely worth being aware of what's going into your body and taking preventative measures to prevent yourself from developing a high lead level.